But so no, when I was a senior in high school, I did come out finally. And my mom was actually a little upset. She was more upset at that than I thought she would be because mm my family defended me for so long. You know, the thing is, is like, even though we're feminine and all that, like we convince our families that we're not gay. Now, when did you start to dip a toe in drag? Cause you're out of the house, you're oh. doing your thing. When, when was that? Immediately. Immediately. Girl, you couldn't stop me, bitch. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, well, I was already at the gay bars. Hold on, let me get my law. Doop, doop, doop. Right. <laughs> I was already, okay. I was already at the gay bars early, right? So I was, and you know, I was actually became friends with a drag queen really quick. Mm. And so I'm like 17 in my in the car. My dad got me, you know, for my 17th birthday, um, driving this bitch like a couple hours to a gig, you know, dressing this girl in drag. Like I was automatically attracted to it even before I turned 18. Right. Uh, but my first drag name was Eureka Refer. Eureka Refer. So, yeah, like Eureka Refer. Uh huh. Yeah. I thought I, yeah, I thought I, I was like real that. clever. <laughs> Um, now, was it during that period of early drag that you you had, there was a period where maybe you had to come out twice as trans because you were living oh, as yeah. a woman for a while, and that's something you've touched on before, yeah. but I don't think we've ever really had a roadmap of where that fits into your, oh, your Lord, development. Yeah. You know, it's, I, I haven't touched on it, and I'll tell you why I didn't touch on it in season nine or season 10, and it's because I decided to detransition at a point in my life. Yeah. And I don't feel like for the trans movement mm. that that is something that the world is ready to understand. Yeah. And I was worried that if I explained that part of my story that it would hurt fellow trans brothers and sisters or non-binary mm. people because people are just now starting to understand transitioning. Right. And a lot of people think it's, oh, a phase or a this or a that. And I would hate to be like, literally a representation or an example of it being a phase or sure. something that's not truly who you are. Mm -hmm. But my path led to me being non-binary, gender fluid. I found a more centered place for myself where I was more emotionally stable. Mm -hmm. I, Mama's still a woman. Honey. Right. When, <laughs> sure. when she needs to be. You know what I'm saying? Hello, clearly. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> clearly a lady. But you know, there are also masculine tendencies as far as like the roles that I play with my family, mm -hmm. as far as what I felt like my mother and my nieces and nephews needed from me. Mm. And also I needed to find a personal identity away from drag. So for me, I transitioned when I was 19. Wow. Um, really early, I met this guy who was really into Eureka. We really connected. We started dating heavy, and I lived with a trans woman that was a drag queen too mm -hmm. at this point in my life, who was the same drag queen that I had been helping since I was like 16. Right. So I was very close with her. I was drawn to her. I grew up with women. I always wanted to be a girl, so it just seemed to add up for me, mm -hmm. you know? Um, plus, I had this guy that basically validated that I was a trans person because right. he was ready to be that person by my side, you know what right, I mean? Right, to show you the love that you were looking for. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. you know, and everyone wanted a relationship. So um, I'm with this guy, you know, and I lived trans for about four years. I went to college on campus. That's no that's no short amount of time. No, no, I mean, I lived, I was full hormone therapy out wow. of my mind, bitch, I, girl. She must have been emotional. She was batshit crazy. She was, <laughs> <laughs> was batshit crazy. Honey. Mama, yeah. when I tell you, and because I wasn't even, realistically, I'll be honest, I was not doing it the legal way. Mm -hmm. You know, I was ordering all the bat, market shots and peels and taking birth control and I was doing all the ways that the girls have to do sometimes when you don't have insurance or uh, resources that we're starting to, to, to develop now. Um, I was taking any hormone shot I could get. Mm. I was taking any te uh, spirolactone, which is a testosterone blocker, right. estradiol, which is an estrogen supplement, and I was like fucking with the chemicals in my brain and my hormones, mm. you know, so... Um, I, now, baby, my skin was soft and I barely grew any hair anywhere, bitch. I bet. And I was cunt, honey, and I might have shrunk two inches in my height, I think. Mm. Uh, that might not be true, I don't know. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but you couldn't tell me I didn't feel like I was six one. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, but and my hair grew. You know, so and I became a woman. Your body shape changes. You develop um, fat tissue where milk sacs would be in your breast. Right. You develop your nipples start to enlarge. There's so many factors physically, mentally that changes with hormone therapy. And I was doing it in such a quick, drastic phase. I was changing so quick. Wow. But my chemical ba balance was completely fucked. Mm. So I got really dark, you know, uh, towards the end of my transition. I was still forcing myself to go to school and stuff, but it was every other week I'm on social media like, should I live or die? I don't understand. Wow. You know, at like four years in, uh -huh. I had broke up with the guy that, excuse me, I had broken up um, with the guy I was dating because he couldn't come to terms with the fact that he liked trans women. Mm. His family was very religious. It got really abusive, the relationship did. That's when I started researching and learning about gender fluidity and non-binary. And so I became like one of the first I feel like openly non-binary people in my life. And you know, I detransitioned six months before I made it onto RuPaul's Drag Race. Wow. Yep. Wow. People don't know that part. Yeah. So um, I literally auditioned, like I had auditioned four times in a row and when I made it on Drag Race, it was like, I think there was like six to eight months right before I actually physically made it on Drag Race. But I had went, when I decided to audition, I deleted everything about my transition, everything about Drag Race period off of all of my social medias. And I just tried to like re-audition as a new person, you know? So I think that's another reason why they didn't really touch base on it. Because mm -hmm. uh, I came into Drag Race, them not really knowing that part of my story.